Today's video is on the 870. It's on how the 870's trigger works. All the trigger groups I've showed you for shotguns so far are from guns that have no disconnect on them. The 870 has one. So you'll see that it works differently than the other ones that I've showed you. It's also a little bit more complex here. Anyways, to start off with, you got the shell lifter here, which pushes the shell up into from the magazine tube up to the barrel. This here is what locks the bolt forward so that when you have to push this button here to really see the slide like on all the other shotguns they have that right there but the difference is at the same time if you follow it along here you see it pushes on this piece of metal this piece of metal is actually lifting up the trigger or the part of the trigger that pushes on the sear here. So if we start off, the first thing is we'll pull the trigger. You see how it down there, down there, it pushes on the sear, and the sear releases a hammer. You can see where it connects. It locks there, and right, you just barely see it there. So that's how the hammer locks back. So when you pull the trigger, it goes forward. Now, that being said, you've got a disconnect on it. This is basically to keep your gun from firing when it's out of battery. So if you push on here, you'll see this goes up, which as you see lifts up the whole trigger assembly, well, the whole trigger part off of the sear. When it's like this and you pull the trigger it doesn't actually push down on the sear at all. It has to be released and then pushes. So if this is up, no matter what, that's a disconnect on it. So that causes it to disconnect and then you also have this here which is connected to it also. So this, as soon as you fire it, the hammer comes up, and as the hammer comes up, the hammer spring, as you see it there, pushes up on this thing, which then also pushes up on the disconnect, and prevents you from firing it. So that's where it disconnects after you pull the trigger. That's how it disconnects the trigger. If not, it would try to fire each time you released, each time the bolt was moved past the hammer, which would cause a big problem. Either it won't fire or it'll fire out a battery, which is very dangerous for the person holding the gun. So that basically covers how that goes. They put this in as a safety because there's a lot of people who would forget to release a trigger and pump the gun and then shoot a second round off, which would make you very unpopular with the people around you. Anyways, so that's the part there. And how it works is, say you fired, now you fired, your hammers hit the bolt, when you rack the gun now that it's free to move back as a hammer spring. Let's push this down. So you move back the bolt carrier, which is just a flat plate with a groove cut on it, goes back and pushes down on the pushes down on the actual hammer. At the same time, I'm gonna turn it around for you. At the same time, it goes over this, which is called a carrier dog. Anyways, it goes over 
the spring pushes down. Now as it gets pushed forward, I'm going to try to get this all here. So as it goes back, this gets pushed down. But as it goes forward, the force is going in a line like that. So as you see, it pushes up the carrier which feeds around or brings around level with the top of the barrel with the, with the barrel and then as your bolt continues going back or the carrier continues going back it pushes it back down again so when you pump one of these guns you pump it all the way back and this won't move at all if you're looking at it you won't see it move it only moves as you pump back forward and you'll see it just pop up like that and then it stays there so the bolt and the bolt carrier push it back down as it rides along again the safety on this got to put oil on this thing since it is a new gun that I bought or a new old gun safety just physically blocks the trigger from moving anyway just goes and prevents you from doing that when it's unsafe. Anyways, so the safety goes on, keeps the trigger from pressing, which obviously keeps your hammer from going. So that's the basics of how an 870 works. As you see, the piece you didn't see on the other one is this disconnector, which, or on the other three guns that I showed, this disconnector, which is what the shotguns nowadays all have to prevent accidental firing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment underneath. And please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know when I have new videos coming out. Thanks again.